tense morning as teams looked to qualify for the finals of the Africa Rugby Sevens in Kampala. Holders Kenya were pushed out by Uganda playing on a soft turf in a game that ended 22-12. The rugby cranes remained composed and improved game after game at the home ground beating Zimbabwe 26-0 to win the title. We've had three months of training, hard training for this tournament and I think today we've come out and showed that the hard work has paid off and I'm very excited about the boys. Yes, bad result. I mean, we could have done better, but I was done from day one up to now. We put up a good fight. The Rugby 15's World Cup qualifiers will be held in France even as Kampala once again exhibits the continent's capability of hosting the international event. Rugby Africa maintains the neutrality of the hosting country and guaranteed attraction of more fans. We've seen the vibe, we've seen the energy, we've seen the atmosphere. Fans have been ecstatic since yesterday. Uh, many of them turned up this morning to cheer up their teams despite the heavy downpour. For these games that are crucial, they are the precursor to two important games, the World Cup in South Africa and the Commonwealth Games in June. Now with me is the Vice President of Rugby Africa, Andrew O'War. Tell us what you think about the level of rugby being played today uh, since two teams here will be heading to the Commonwealth Games. It's, I think the level uh, compared to years back has, has really pushed up. The teams have worked hard. Uh, every team has actually put a lot of effort. But it was, it was nice to see uh, Uganda, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Zambia really push themselves higher. And, and make uh, a very good, uh, it was a very good presentation of rugby. Like Zimbabwe and Kenya, Uganda has tough seasons ahead to prepare for tournaments. They've barely months to get in shape to match the likes of Fiji, Great Britain, Samoa and New Zealand. We're just going to go back to the drawing board and train as hard as we can because the scenes we are going to are the world scenes. World Cup, Commonwealth, those are big scenes. We're playing with the best teams in the world and definitely we have to go and match up. Fourteen teams took part in the tournament, including rising stars Burundi, Senegal and Burkina Faso, drawing a promising scene and more representation of the continent at the International Rugby Board circuit. Razia Athman, reporting for Africa News in Kampala, Uganda.